Have you ever been told no? There are many ways people can say no. For example, that's not going to happen. That's not possible. It just won't work. At first, I hated being told no. Then a switch flipped and I began to love it. I accepted the challenge. I accepted all the challenges. They became power, the fuel of no. My name is Dr. James Seymour. How do you combat the no's? Does that mean you have a goal? Ironically, no, but use that for fuel. You have to be on a mission. There's nothing wrong with having a goal, but remember that a goal is simply a step on the way to your mission. A goal, well, it gets reset if you don't make it, and then you start again, and then maybe again. But a mission has special importance. On a mission, there's no stopping. Be on a mission, my friends. It's do or die. I've often told my students and counterparts, goals and missions remind me of ducks and sharks. A goal, or a duck, sits on the water. Its feet paddle furiously underneath the water, but yet they're unseen. A duck is found on ponds and lakes, places where things are safe. If you see a duck coming at you, there's generally no fear. We know what's under the water, little tiny feet. But a mission, or a shark, is in the deep, dark, scary water. When someone sees a shark's fin, they know what's underneath the water. Be a shark in your actions. Remember that a shark never stops moving. If it does, it dies. Stay on a mission, my friends. See, I got told no a lot. You can't be a Marine. I was. You can't be a chef. I did that. You can't get a bachelor's degree. I did it. You can't get a master's. I did it. A doctor, that's too hard. I'm Dr. Moore. You can't start a business. I started four. You can't host a radio show. I hosted and produced three and then became president of the radio station. Use that fuel. Use those no's. Turn them into fuel. Turn them into your power, your passion. When I was on the radio, I presented a concept for a great show. At least I thought the show was great. My teammates said no. I took that no and turned it into a book. Now I'm a published author. I use the fuel of no. Let me leave you with three points. First, don't let anyone decide whether or not you'll succeed. Second, don't let anyone tell you how you will succeed. And third, don't let anyone tell you what success is for you. Be on a mission, take that no, turn it into fuel, and blaze your path. Forbes School of Business and Technology degree programs and emphasis can help you learn to harness the power of no and stay on your mission.